Hello, my name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I'm a board certified physician specializing in medical hypnosis, guided imagery, nutrition and exercise, my website being www.gianinc.com. Today's health tip the title of which is Nutrition. We will discuss today everything that is important about nutrition. However, before we begin, there are three aphorisms that I think are very apt. The first and most famous one being, Let food be thy medicine, and medicine thy food. This was said in 534 BC by Hippocrates, the great philosopher. The second one is, you are what you eat. The third one is, eat to live. Don't live to eat. A rhetorical question. Can you imagine that your automobile could run without gas or petrol? The answer is obvious. In the, using that analogy, how do you expect your body to function correctly if you don't feed it? But the food that you eat has to be the correct healthy food. Everything that we eat is divided into three categories, protein, carbohydrate, and fats, all of which have good and bad properties. Protein, such as fish, meat, chicken, turkey, eggs, soy, and beans. Fats, there are two types, the saturated and the unsaturated. The saturated fat is unhealthy. The unsaturated fats are very healthy, such as, such as olive oil, krill oil, fish oil, and so on. Carbohydrates. They are the healthy and the unhealthy. The healthy being the fruits and vegetables called the complex carbohydrates, the simple carbohydrates are unhealthy, those being the white flour and high fructose content foods that are purchased in the supermarket. Once we have decided on the type of food we eat, it is important to realize that one should eat five small meals a day. Another aphorism, eat breakfast like a king or a queen, lunch like a princess or a prince, and dinner like a pauper, or is the female equivalent pauperess. Each and every time one eats, the three fruit, uh, food groups should be incorporated, the protein, the complex carbohydrate, the fats, the good fats, and whole grains, such as whole wheat bread, barley, quinoa, and more. The quantity is also important. It is more is less. It is better to eat more of a variety of foods and less of one food, such as it is better to eat some cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts and spinach rather than having a whole plate of spinach. Eating fruit, rather eat one or two strawberries, a half a peach or a nectarine, a quarter of a banana, rather than eating a whole one of each fruit type.
drinking non-alcoholic beverages, we'll start with that, is also extremely healthy and beneficial. Green tea. Drinking three to four cups of green tea a day has proven to prevent breast and prostate cancer, together with vitamin D and organic flax seeds. One cup of coffee a day, whether decaf or regular, reduces your stroke risk by 23%. Studies have shown that eating dark chocolate is very important. The percentage cacao is 70% or over. I have never endorsed a product, but this time I feel I would like to mention the chocolate so shy, spelt X-O-C-A-I. The reason why I'm doing that is because it is loaded with antioxidants and it is also has a low glycemic index. In other words, it does not raise the blood sugar. Therefore, diabetics can eat so shy chocolate. It is interesting, a recent study found that those who ate dark chocolate, 7 to 10 grams at night, weighed less than those who did not eat chocolate at all. Dark chocolate is also has many anti-cancer effects, anti-inflammatory effects, antioxidants, polyphenols, etc. Drinking red wine is extremely beneficial for health. It protects the heart and the brain. The quantity is important. For men, two glasses of wine per night, red. For females, one glass of red wine. However, I must caution that study showed that the more alcohol a female drinks, the greater chance she has of developing breast cancer. My recommendation is not to have more than two glasses of red wine per week. Nuts are extremely beneficial, especially almonds and walnuts, due to the fact that they contain a high content of uh, fatty acids which are beneficial. The fatty acids are omega-3 and omega-6. Omega-3 tends to be healthier than omega-6. Fish contains omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and DEA. The most important fish that contain that is salmon, tuna, sardines, herring, and catfish. And these are the fish that we recommend. During pregnancy, it is desirable to eat wild fish and not the farm raised due to the mercury content. As I mentioned, the whole wheat bread is better. And to my huge Indian population, I suggest that the parathas, the onion cultures and the papadams be made of whole wheat flour rather than white flour. Do not consume too much gulab jamun, which is a, a dessert, because of the high sugar content. Talking of desserts after meals, the finest dessert that I can recommend is a mixture of berries with some fat-free yogurt, sweetened with some stevia, brown stevia. The reason being is you get your calcium from the yogurt, uh, fat-free cottage cheese, and the berries are loaded with antioxidants, especially the blackberry, and your dessert is low in glycemic index.
Before you go to bed, if you go to bed late at night, we recommend that you have a piece of fruit and a few nuts. In so doing, you will keep your blood sugar raised during the night and will not wake up with hypo or low uh, blood sugar. Many, many patients have been seen in this office complaining of stress. And when one takes a nutritional history, we find that their nutritional program is less than adequate. Eating occasionally or drinking sugar drinks with pizza and such like. No wonder they are stressed out. No wonder they feel tired. The fuel for the body is absent. There is far more information present on my website www.giainc.com which is in front of you. Visit please the blog section for nutrition. There is also special nutrition for pregnant females. There's examples of food, sample menus. I invite you to visit also the nutrition tab and look at the weekly health tips and there's a great deal of information on the health tips that were given that were written before the YouTube video. I hope this has been beneficial to you. I have just scratched the surface, but in the interests of time, I will end now by saying I hope you have a long, happy, healthy life using and eating the correct food, exercising, and if you have physical or psychological complaints, medical hypnosis and guided imagery will be of assistance. I thank you and have a good day.